just like pillows. Okay then, <laughs> you like pillows, I get it. Let's go see what's in here. I'm finding the toys are kind of taking over this space. Yes. Yeah, if we have guests at night, I don't want to feel like I'm sitting in the middle of a playroom. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, you need an adult space. I need to get Brandon into his own bedroom and give the family their living room back so that everyone can fit comfortably in this home. I know that you've downsized and you still have a lot of stuff. So we have to eliminate stuff. It's gonna be a lot of purging happening. I'm sorry, Robert, but it's the only way. Connie, you're gonna be yes. strong and you're gonna help me with Robert, okay? Okay. Wow, those rooms are just crammed. Robert has picked up habits from his parents and my job here is to help him let go. I think I'm gonna have a hard time with him though. He's really attached to those items. Can we have a box for just my stuff? Robert, all of this is your stuff. <laughs> Robert and Connie have downsized their home, but Robert hasn't been able to downsize his clutter. Do you save everything, Robert? I do. My challenge is to teach him how to pare down. The clutter is, is a problem because there's no room. For me, I feel very suffocated. I don't mind having a lot of stuff around, but I can understand that if Connie doesn't like it and it does affect us. Robert had said he was going to set up a tent in the backyard to store more stuff, and then that was the final straw for me. This back room is a waste of valuable space. I need to relocate the computer area, remove all of the boxes. I need to start from scratch. I'm gonna turn this into a cool new bedroom for Brandon. First, a dresser for his clothes. Next, I'm gonna bring in a loft bed, and under the bed, we've got shelving and a desk. The mattress just pops in at the top. That's making great use of this space. All right, guys, here's the plan for today. Clutter Crew and Connie are gonna get everything from the back room and bring it into the living room where I'm gonna work with Robert to make some decisions. Anything you wanna keep, pull it out. I'm gonna put them in these keep bins. I'm bringing everything into the living room so Robert is surrounded and trapped by all his stuff. With no escape in sight, he'll have to make some choices. Now, we've gotta do this very quickly because okay. there's a lot of stuff, okay? Keep, 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 keep. When you have a small space, you need to justify everything you keep. I'm gonna teach Robert how to evaluate what he needs and what he doesn't. How long have you had this? Uh, probably two years. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's collected a lot of dust. These are felt pads for the bottom of chairs. I think I might have bought more than I need. Okay, so you got a lot of these. Here's what I think may have happened. You couldn't find them, so you went out and bought more. I think, I think that's right. If you don't have the space to keep items easily accessible, don't buy in advance. When items go missing, you'll end up paying for them twice. Okay, why would you keep a broken dog? Niche? Because you take this piece off, you buy a new one, and then you, it works. How are you walking the dog right now? I have another one. <laughs> when you buy the new one, you gotta toss the old one. Well, I didn't know you, I didn't know you, so that, I didn't have that You were rule. hoping to fix it, weren't you? I was. I'll fix it thinking is usually a trap. If something is broken and can't be easily repaired, let it go. With the back room emptying out, there's no room anywhere for Robert's stuff. If he doesn't start letting go, all of these things are gonna get stuck in the living room. That just won't do. All right, what do we got in here? Gadgets, gizmos. You're weighing me down. Doesn't feel like it, but... <laughs> right. I have to give you something once in a while. Okay, what are all these toys, Robert? They're brand new. I, I bought them when they're on sale for Brandon or gifts or things like that. You're saving these for Brandon. Meanwhile, they're taking up so much space that he doesn't have anywhere to sleep. When you buy things just because they're on sale, keep in mind you have to store them. And that costs you in space. Hold on, hold on. Keep. Why are we keeping this? It's a teddy bear. I know what it is. Why are we keeping it? It's a teddy bear. How much room is he taking? Look. A lot, a whole box. Can't we have a box for just my stuff? Robert, all of this is your stuff. What about the family? Okay, we'll put it in the keep for now. What is this? 
100 years of Canadian history in pennies. Connie? <laughs> well, come on. We, we <laughs> need you here for a second. Pennies here, look at that. <laughs> Would you like this hanging up on the wall? Not really. I'd say donate it. Donate, okay. Don't you think it has some value? Holding on to things because they may be valuable is common, but rewards are rare. Checking online can help you discover whether an item is really worth the space it's taking up. Robert wants to return these to the store. It won't, won't happen. It will. Won't happen. Robert, listen to Helen. Keep, 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 keep. We got a lot of tools. Let's talk tools. Let's talk tools. There's only so much space in the house. And you got to share the house yes. with your kids. Yes. And your lovely wife. Yes. yes. And the tools come after okay. that. I don't right? Need... So let's think about priorities. Okay. Family. Yes. Tools. Robert grew up surrounded by clutter. So he's used to holding on to things, even at the expense of his own family. I've got to help him break that habit. Okay, Robert, this is all of the stuff that you want to keep. Where are we going to store it? I don't know. Do you think that there's some stuff here that you could let go of? No. <laughs> no, honestly, no. I can't work miracles. I can't cram all this stuff in, you know, <laughs> space I don't have. I need you to pare this down to three bins. I can't see three, I, honestly. You gotta pare down. You willing to think about it? Yes, I'm, of course. Okay. It really comes down to, you know, what do you value most? Your happiness and your family's happiness? or all of your stuff. No one said it was gonna be easy, but if it was affecting your family, ultimately it was affecting you. Robert feels safe surrounded by clutter and is having trouble paring down. Do you think that there's some stuff here that you could let go of? Honestly, no. Today, I'm hoping for a change of heart. All right, Connie, I'm going to get you in the back room, just finishing off what you're working on yesterday, and Clutter Crew will help you. And Robert, you and I have some work to do here. Okay. So, Robert, how are you feeling today about everything? I know when I left, you seemed a little overwhelmed. I was, I was a little bit down. I, I couldn't see how we were going to fit all of this into the three boxes we discussed, so I was feeling a bit depressed. Well, no one said it was going to be easy, it, but no. if it was affecting your family, ultimately it was affecting you. Yeah, no, definitely. It's hard. Yeah, How yeah. are you feeling today? I understand what we're trying to achieve. And me and Connie went out for dinner and we just talked about the stuff and what was important. I can see the end result and that's what I want. I don't want to feel selfish and take up all the space with my boxes. How do you think this new way of looking at stuff is going to affect the dynamics in your family? We would just have more space to enjoy. I don't have to hold on to these things anymore. <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be good. Sometimes getting some distance is just what you need to start seeing things in a new light. All right, Robert, time to attack this stuff. Robert's now ready to break free from the clutter. He realizes the toll it's taking on his family. That's a big change, and it's going to help us move forward. We can get rid of that. Great. Wow. I can get it on a computer. Fantastic. What about this, Robert? It can go. Really? Go. Wow. I'm going to get Connor to take these out <laughs> for us. I can't believe you're getting rid of all these tools. You were so attached to them. You see what's happening here? Family tools. tools so are tools down. are down family here, are. family up here. Yes. The way it should be. Yes. Awesome. Robert is now going full steam ahead. Bins are emptying and goals are being reached. We've done it. We've conquered everything from the back room, and now you've got three bins of keep. Yeah. You didn't think you could do it, but you no, did it. It's a what a relief. <laughs> it went, it, it's like a, a haircut. It's just gone now. I don't <laughs> worry right. about it anymore. So what I'm going to do now that we've conquered all the stuff in the back room, I'm going to call Connie in here, mm -hmm. and we're going to start dealing with the stuff in the living room. Okay? okay? Yep. Connie, three bins. <laughs> Isn't it you, great? You did this. We did this. Great. I am so proud of you. And the back That's room is wonderful. empty. With the rest of the items clearing out of the living room, I can focus on giving them the space they need in here. This living room was being used for everything, including Brandon's bedroom. Now it's gonna be more of an adult space. I'm gonna move the wall unit here, place the couch across from it, give them a coffee table, a comfy chair, and a desk that rolls down to hide the computer. Now here's a functional living room. 
And to prevent Robert from reverting to his old habits, I have some simple rules for him to follow. I think that one of your biggest obstacles to letting things go are these excuses that you come up with. So what I've done is I've actually framed some of the excuses that just don't cut it. And these are the excuses I hear that people use to keep things. Right. The first one is, I'm going to fix it someday. So someday you're going to fix this. <laughs> yes. I need it just in case. When the old ones wear out, I have extra ones. This will be worth something someday. Do you think it has some value? And maybe someone else can use it. For abandon or gifts or things like that. When you hear yourself using one of these excuses, I'm going to want you to refer to this and remember that, nah, Helen wouldn't approve. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Toss it. With all the rules in place and the clutter going, Robert and Connie can now look forward to having space for the whole family. Okay, guys, so all I need now is your keys. There you go. Thank you very much. And when you come back, this house is going to be ready for your whole family. Uh, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait either. For Brandon's bedroom, we're adding a coat of paint and a homework station. The living room needs cleaning up and some new storage solutions. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness, is this our house? <laughs> Robert's clutter was crowding out his family. Right now, Brent is sleeping in the living room on the pull-out couch. With some organizing basics and some simple rules to follow, now Robert and his family can make the most of their space. Nervous? How about you? <laughs> I'm really excited. Hi guys. Hi, Hi Helen. How are you? Come on in. I can't wait for you guys to see this. <laughs> Check out your son's oh, new room. This is wow. great. This is great. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Before this room was piled high with Robert's clutter, rendering it useless. Now, it's a fun and functional bedroom for Brandon. This is great. I would never imagine you could get this, you know, in here. <laughs> a bed, a desk, a dresser. But not, a little, not a little bed. I think it's a big bed. This allows us to maximize the vertical space in the room. We've got the desk underneath to, to play his video games, do his homework, homework. some quiet reading. With this space jam-packed, Brandon slept on a pull-out couch. Now Brandon has a room of his own with organizing systems in place that will help him as he grows. Come over here, look at his dresser. This is, <laughs> oh wow, it's all organized. Let me show you the closet. Look at this, a little place for his toy Nick cars. Knows, yeah. We've added extra shelving, and there's Which even sense. a place for his backpack, for his video games. What I love about providing containers for kids is that they know once the containers are full, they have to use the one-in, one-out rule. I should have learned that one. <laughs> <laughs> now look at this. This is a little caddy on wheels oh, that nice. opens up and has it's art good. supplies. Oh. And it's portable if you ever wanted to take this into the living room. That makes so much sense. And when he's not using it, it just wheels right out of the way. He'll love this. He will. He's going to be amazed. So do you want to see your living room now? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness, is this our house? A little overwhelmed. Yes. <laughs> it looks bigger for it some reason. It looks big, yeah. Before, this room was overcrowded and serving too many purposes. Now, it's an organized, multifunctional space that works. It's lovely. And this is still a pull-out sofa bed. Oh, <laughs> so you can still have guests. That's your shelving unit. The books now are on the outside and the videos and DVDs on the inside. By repositioning the furniture and implementing streamlined solutions, this family now has all the space it needs. It's so really it's a nice. multifunctional space still. Right? right, because you can still store your items, you can still watch TV, entertain. We can, you know, all be in here together and just really enjoy this room. There's one more function for this space that we haven't talked about. Look behind you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> isn't that nice? That makes so much sense. You've got a place for your computer. Side. You've got a place for your office supplies. <laughs> 
Your rules are here. I saw that. So you want to the rules? And look, it disappears when you're entertaining. And look at this. <laughs> look how cool this is. The tools have been contained in one place, and they're portable, so they can be moved wherever they're needed. See ya. <laughs> have fun, go build something. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. With Robert's clutter habit a thing of the past, these two now have a home that works for everyone. Thank you for being so cooperative. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Helen. Enjoy. Thank you so much. By having Helen come in and help us shed all that stuff, I feel lighter. This has been a great experience for us, and I think it's, it's something that our family will always remember. <laughs> I'm happy about Brandon's room, actually. I think that's great that uh, he has his own room. If he learns good organization now, he'll carry it with him the rest of his life. It's been uplifting, life-changing. It has been life-changing.